In this video, I'm gonna show you a quick way to make a color by number worksheet. So the first thing I do is I'll go to Canva and I will look for a color by number sheet. And with this, right now I'm on a personal account, so you'll see it, I have to pay for it. But if you're a teacher, there's an educator account and a ton of these pictures are free. And so it's really great. So for this, what I would do is just delete the color by number at the top and I would put my directions for students. And then the side, which is the part I really love, tells me the number and the color, which saves me a lot of time. I'm not trying to figure out what would look good on this picture. So this saves me a lot of time. So what I'll do is I will go to a Google Doc and I'll create a table. So I teach secondary. And so I might have them solving equations. So just a few examples. So for this one, I'll ask them something like, what's the first step? And they would say, I subtract two. So look down here and say, okay, the number is number seven. So they know they're gonna color number seven. And then when they solve it, they'll say, okay, well, X is three. Okay, so that should be the color red. So this is red. So on their picture, they would come over and they would color it red. So they got the number seven, they would color it red. So once I have gone through and added all my questions here, then I will come over to the Canva document and I will delete the numbers with the colors on it. So all that's left is the name, the directions, and the picture for them to color. Then I will have them this have this worksheet on the back. And that's the quickest way I've found to make a color by number, especially since they already tell you what the number color should be. It's just taking and matching it up. So I'll just randomly place the colors in here and then randomly assign the questions here so that they line up. Sometimes it helps when I am creating these to like number it. So I want this to be number one, number two. And that way I know because then if I know, okay, well, number one has to be blue. So I could go ahead and put blue here. So when I'm writing the answers, I know, okay, well, number one, which is a plus five, that problem has to end up in the color blue. So when I'm writing the question, that helps too. So this is the quickest way. I will show you another way that I found, but it takes a lot longer to make. But this is the quickest way I found to make a color by number using Canva. These are just worksheet problems I just make up and it works. Now, if you teach maybe a younger grade or maybe you don't have two steps to your problem, um, what you could always do is you could always just put the number here. So like this is number one and then you can delete this part and just leave the answer in the color. So they're just figuring out the color because on the template, you're not gonna have this here. You're gonna delete the numbers that have the colors beside them. So if you're looking at one step or simpler problems, that's something you could always do. But this is what I'm doing with my secondary students and so far they are enjoying it. 